Hello, boys. This is time number three that I'm recording this, and that means that since this game has zero replayability, I had to replay the whole game up to the 50% mark, and it took me like four and a half hours, so don't ever say I never do anything for y'all, okay? <laughs> but, uh, God, anyways, we're actually doing croc stuff tonight. We're getting crocky. It's not tonight. It's not even afternoon. Okay, never mind. It is afternoon. Um, sorry, I sit in the same place all day with a relatively stable light level, so... Uh, I cannot differentiate between times of day. But, yeah, we're doing croc stuff. We're gonna actually beat the crap out of the crocker. Mr. Crocker. Anyways, so, yeah. I... <laughs> Honestly, getting back here didn't really take near as long as I maybe thought it would. And I'm not, I don't know, it should be fine. I'm not having a problem. It wasn't exactly unfun. I had a fun time getting back here. But I didn't collect as many stuff. I didn't collect as much stuff. And I did not actually, um... Let's see. I don't think I have as many upgrades. Because apparently, like, even, like, Riddler's stuff gives you XP... And I probably didn't fight as well, just because I was trying to be fast, but whatever. Yeah, right, I can keep walking, and that's perfectly fine. Croc's easy. Croc's a big pushover. Big baby, you know what I'm talking about? So, this should be handy dandy, you know? Well, you know what isn't handy dandy, though? So, I think I've said this before. I cook my own meals. Um, like, uh, god. I made meatloaf, which I mentioned in my Deponia episode that went up this week. I was making meatloaf. Dang good meatloaf. A little bit pink, but that's perfectly fine because my immune system is that of a horse and I can survive literally anything. So, um, perfectly fine. I eat semi-raw ground beef. But, you know, what's it gonna do? It did nothing. So, yeah. What am I doing? I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow... I'm going to be making... Oi! Gee, or God... Okay. The first Batarang did nothing. So much for Croc being a pushover. I don't care. Sugma. Anyways. Um, aim, Batarang. Like I need to aim. I don't need to aim. Pal! I... Okay. I guess I do need to aim... Very different from normal. Suck my balls. TikTok, suck my balls. Screw TikTok. Try it, pal. There we go. Ligma. Um, but I'm making fish tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. And uh, it's like a fish and rice dish. With green beans. I've been eating green beans like non-stop, actually. So I think I'll probably switch those out for... It'll probably end up being carrots. Or something along those lines. I I seem to have a, an oddly consistent diet where I can't help but eat one side dish like three weeks in a row. Which is weird, because I don't even like doing that. Especially when it's something as... as consistently bland or flavored as like rice or green beans but yeah because i don't i don't even make up green beans the way that i'm supposed to guide a recipe i just get them in a a bag shut it um i mean they come in a bag so i may as well just uh come on pal come on buddy suck my balls um you know, if they come in a bag that you can microwave steam, why would I take them out of the bag and put them on a baking sheet and probably burn them? Um, or I guess in this case not burn them since... Well, actually, okay. If I had properly cooked the meat, I might have burned the green beans. Which they were supposed to be slightly crisped anyways, but, you know. Um, I like my version better. <laughs> uh, God. But I'm making... I guess it's Atlantic Cod. It doesn't even say... Not Atlantic Cod, Atlantic Salmon. 
It doesn't actually say what kind of fish I'm supposed to use. It just says like fish fillet, fillet, fillet. Yeah, you can really you can tell I'm an engineer because uh, where is he? There he is. She's really running across the halls, pal. Ain't you know you're supposed to be uh... okay? I I try and go off the musical cues for this because he really sometimes one isn't enough, um, and he'll do doubles or whatever. But you know. Um, hello? There's my big boy! Yeah. Shut up. For how big hulking and hulking he is, he's a big old pushover. Good thing they got that shock collar on him. Um, but, uh, because it's a fish dish with rice, and I think it's Asian inspired, if not just outright Asian. There's some ginger involved, and I love ginger. I eat ginger a lot. I minced up some ginger, um, and put it in the mashed sweet potatoes that I made for my last, the, to go alongside the, the meat loaves, uh, last time. And I feel dumb for doing that now, because I went to the store, um, it was Walmart, I'll admit, but I don't go there willingly, um, to get more ginger, and they're out of ginger. Like, I heard there was an egg shortage. Apparently, there was, you know, there was avian flu or whatever. Apparently, there's ginger flu going on. Um, gingivitis. <laughs> there's gingivitis going around. And now there's a ginger shortage or whatever. That or I just happen to be the last one to pick up a thing of ginger. Which sucks. Because I like thumbs of ginger in my food, especially when it's Asian inspired fish and rice. Because, by golly, if I don't cook up something in a pan before putting my rice and water in it, it's just normal rice, and that's disgusting. When I was a kid, I hated white rice, because it didn't taste like anything. And you know what? Now I make sure to mince up, like, garlic or ginger or both and put them in there. What else have I put in? Uh, maybe even shallot. Actually, shallot, shallot rice... I don't remember. I don't think I've actually had shallot rice. Now that doesn't sound like something I've done, but anyways, I I was forced. I asked even an associate even because normally they're just in one of the produce bins, just laying around. But um, do I not have the subtitles on? No, I do. They're just hey pal. The game is acting like I can't at all understand what Croc's saying. I guess. Um, but I asked an associate. She's like, no, we're just straight up out. Like, it was, um, it was a known problem, you know, that they were out of ginger, which is sugs. So, you know, but I had to get, like, ginger paste, which is maybe mostly ginger, so I guess that's all right, but I, if I want to put ginger in my meals, I'm not, I don't need to put, like, ginger dextrose and sugar in my nails I just mean to put ginger in my nails you know so that sucks a little bit um, but what can you do if it doesn't turn out to be terrible I'm probably still gonna mince my own dang ginger I've got enough spores. that or I'll get a good enough garlic press that I can pass ginger through it which I doubt because um, ginger I don't know if it's just where I am, but ginger is really fibrous. Like, I can hardly grate this stuff. Um, like, I, I passed some ginger through a grater for a recipe a while back. And it... It was... It was trailing. <laughs> but, you know, it, that might honestly be the way that I hold the grater. It's possible. Okay, I'm going the wrong direction. Sick. Do you now? I don't care. Hey, pal! How's it going? Anyways. Yeah, very cool. I have to go over here. I have to go around. Yeah, sucks. Sucks to be me. Um. 
I, honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to taste the difference. I mean, I can hardly taste the difference between raw and uncooked meat. So, you know, shows just how good of a chef I am. But, um, well, I can tell, but not enough to take uh, pre-cooked and, you know, already plated and all that meal and redo it. Why would I do that? Wee. Um... Yeah, because I, I cook I cook like four days in advance. Um, I guess it's three days in advance because I, you know, like to not cook, in all honesty. And so I, I guess I could, if I really cared, put my undercooked dishes back into the oven. But that would involve me then preheating the oven again, and just generally heating up the oven again. I don't know if I really want to do that uh, when I can just eat slightly undercooked meat, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm hoping nobody that I eventually go out go out with watches this and is just like, "Oh, is that what he's been feeding me?" <laughs> um, but yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I haven't been having a problem, but I have the immune system of a horse, so perfectly fine. I have my I have my fourth child benefits, you know. But yeah, it's I I don't know how the paste is gonna go, cause again, it has like all the extra sh crap in it to make it last longer than the thumb two thumbs of ginger I forget about in my in my refrigerator. Um, it says right on it lasts for weeks, and I checked the cap. It'll last for another like three months. I don't need it to last that long, and I don't need it to be like a friggin' cup of ginger, you know. I just need two thumbs of ginger to put in some rice. I did not. I never needed twenty million tablespoons of ginger to just be in my fridge going bad. But hey, that's the way the news goes, pals. I guess, but I I honestly don't even think it's really that bad in the way that I would be saving time. I think I'm gonna be running from your frog. Hey, look, I'm running. Um, cause in all honesty, like mincing the tiny vegetables is a good amount of my prep time, regardless. Like, I, I mince my own garlic because I have a garlic press that's made of flimsy plastic and sucks booty cheeks. Like, it was it was a mistake buying it in the first place because flimsy plastic just gets out of the way instead of, like, I don't know, actually crushing the garlic. My caves will be your tomb. Really? Will they now? Speaking of, now! Oh my gosh, really hit him with the snake down B right there. Mission complete, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Colonel, I'm trying to sneak through the sewers, but there's a giant crocodile. That kind of deal. Uh, anyways, I gotta get to the bat thing. The bat, the bat thing. <laughs> uh, that explains quite a few of uh, Batman's things. So, originally the upgrade I got was a cryptographic power amplifier, but as you can see, I got different upgrades this time, so you know what, I'm just gonna act like we hadn't gotten armor upgrade V2, and then say, hey, look, we got a new upgrade. Whatever. Alright. But yeah, if you're gonna buy a garlic press, buy a metal garlic press. Because it, it, it was a waste of money. I... Like, I bought the dying stupid plastic one because it was more cheap, right? But it doesn't even work. So it was a waste of money anyways. I'm like, cool, I wasted my money for no darn reason. Um, but whatever. Does he now? Ow. This is the save file where I am much worse at fighting. And it definitely carries over in that exact way. Boink. 
I'm going to use the cool and epic move. Boink. And now I do this, right? And then I do that. There we go, perfect. Um, yeah. I don't even have much else to say. Like, there's more going on still because I got further along. Um, and there's nothing I can do about, you know, this, uh, whole dang place. It's okay. I've got the mold samples. Ah, didn't see this one before. Assuming this is new. Speaking of, though, uh, I'm just gonna stop that where it is, because I don't... We've probably listened to this one already. Will you shut up, man? Um. Right. Who said that? What? Right. Okay. I remember now. Never mind. Um. You know what else I was going to talk about? I had a wacky dream involving a friend of mine, right? And you know what? The first recording that I mentioned this, I was like skirting around it. But you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to go into like excruciating detail how this dream played out. Because it was that wacky. It's uh, it's weird when a dream isn't surreal in the way that dreams sometimes are, but it's still, it's realism in the way that it seems like it could possibly happen, but definitely won't. That kind of deal. Um, so I want to say I was hanging out with this friend. And it was a female friend, which makes the story weirder. Uh, based on content, right? And I want to say they were like showing me outfits in their closet or something, which is weird. And then they like crouched down for something, and for no reason at all, I just gave them like the biggest wedgie imaginable for just absolutely no reason. And I don't remember, like, I never remember my dreams, and just that happening in a dream is. I probably the only reason I remember this at all because that's you don't see that <laughs> like ever anymore I don't know I guess what like friggin Timmy Turner would get a wedgie on I'm fine. fairly odd parents once every 10 hundred episodes but like that's not even that's not even something that is a thing anymore you know like I don't know what my why my mind comes up with some of this shit uh, and especially like a female friend. <laughs> That's uh, a bit wacky. But yeah, interesting dream. Hopefully they're hopefully they're not joking when they say dreams come true. You know, um, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, that's the end of the episode. I have nothing else to say. Um, put your wacky dreams in the comments section, and I will rate them personally. Till next time, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm throwing you into the sewers with the beast. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.